thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, former Prime Minister. Um, Your Excellency, former Vice President, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka. Uh, Honorable members of NADCO and uh, members of the Fourth Estate, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Or evening. Your Excellency, Prime Minister, as uh, my co-chair, Vice President Kalonzo Musioka has said, we are here to formally and officially hand over to you the product of the work that yourself and the President did task this team to work on. And Your Excellency, as we have briefed you in the boardroom, and as uh, His Excellency Kalonzo Musioka has pointed out, we had uh, difficult times. We also had easy times on some of the subjects uh, that were before us. We began not on a very easy note, but eventually, Your Excellency, we can report to you that we were able to surmount all the challenges that we began with and eventually agreed on five thematic areas that we would tackle and on an agreed agenda, unlike the way we had begun initially. And uh, eventually we did agree on almost 90% of the issues that you did task us to uh, address in the National Dialogue Committee. And the few issues that we could not agree on, Your Excellency, as you will read in the report, there are issues that we referred to yourself and his, to His Excellency the President. But by and large, Your Excellency, as you have just told us there, the most important thing for this team and for our nation is not to forget what led us to the National Dialogue Committee, that there are indeed lives that were lost of Kenyans, there is property that was destroyed, and our economy taken aback for a moment. But the lessons, Your Excellency, that we have learned as a team and as Kenyans, that there is no task that is beyond people or a people in a country when they speak to each other and when they dialogue. We began as two teams that had their views on almost each of the issues that were before us. But we were able, through dialogue, to build consensus and agree. And I want to believe even the things that we have referred to you and His Excellency the President are issues that consider together in the spirit of Kenyanhood. We shall be able to surmount and move together as a country. We have learned our lessons. And Your Excellency, as you have rightly told us, the best gift that we can gift to those families who lost their loved ones, those who lost property, is to ensure that never again in this country shall violence become part of our political discourse and that we shall always endeavor as a nation to speak with each other and resolve our issues amicably. With those many remarks, Your Excellency, let me say on behalf of this Kenya Kwanza team, for many of us it's our first time to be at Capitol Hill. And uh, th there is a time, <laughs> there is a time, Your Excellency, we would not have set foot here. <laughs> so we are indeed grateful that we are now here as part of the Kenya Kwanza team that are happy to have been welcomed here by yourself and your great team here. And uh, we value you as a Kenyan, as a nationalist, an African statesman who has Kenyans and many Africans at heart. And Your Excellency, we have said elsewhere that even as you endeavor to take over the AU chairmanship, AU commission chairmanship from uh, the Honorable Musa, we support you as Kenyans. And we support you because you go to the AU not to represent Azimio or ODM that you go there as a Kenyan and whenever any one of us as Kenyans is uh, gunning for a continental and international job we are obligated as patriotic Kenyans to support and we support your candidature your excellency and uh, if there is anything we can do we are ready to do your excellency to make sure that you clinch that position because we know you have the stamina and you have the determination and the Pan-African spirit to be able to serve not just the people of Kenya, but the people of Africa and the world at large. Thank you.